Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 20 of Darwell20's Sky Factory 4 Let's Play series. Oh yeah, what's up everybody? Uh, it's it's episode 20, which you guys know is one of my favorite episode numbers. Right up there with 42. Uh, yeah, dudes, we got we got stuff and things happening. Oh, that's right, I don't have a storage remote anymore. <laughs> I think I'm probably just go away. Um, so last episode we got an AE system up and running, which I immediately now am missing wireless access to. But don't worry, uh, we'll we'll make things wireless once again. So last episode, wow, we already filled up, you know, two 4K storage cells. We're gonna totally want more of those. Um, and we're gonna need to get all this stuff up and running, right? So today is gonna be expanding of the AE system, which I'm interested in seeing because. AE's channels are disabled, so we don't have to worry about channels at all. Like we don't have the the thick cables to make. We don't have the like the or the dense cables. We don't have to make the uh, visual display cable. Like we don't have to do any of that channel stuff. We don't have to do controllers. We don't have to do P2P networks. We don't have to do anything, right? Like it's just straight up flight logistics with channels disabled. So interested in seeing how it works. So I think what we want to start with, um, we'll see. We'll see what we want to start with. Uh, probably want to get wireless access up and going as soon as possible, because that would make life easier on me. And then I want to get auto crafting going. I think those are the two main things. So like, we definitely want a security terminal, right? That's going to require a 16K uh, ME storage dude, right? So that's going to need more flux crystals, which is going to need more uh, mineral stuff, right? So there's like 61 of those. Let's get a bunch of flux crystals, right? Bada bing. A bada boom, right? You guys can go all here. Da 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 da. I don't know that these mineral berries are they used for much of anything outside? Yeah, no, I don't really need those, right? Yeah, I think we're cool. I'm just gonna avoid. I'll keep one stack, right? I'm gonna avoid the rest. Avoid the rest. Boop 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 boop. See you later, alligator. Man, those crystallized mineral chunks, we don't get a lot of those, do we? Oh, no, there's more. There's more. I just didn't clear them all out. Good job, Direwolf. You are smart and good at this game. Let me tell you. Uh, so we need to infuse that with redstone, right? Um, and again, I don't have access to my network wirelessly. I'm already, I'm already messing up as a result of not having access, right? Um, so it's 8x, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 should be a stack. So if I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stacks then we're gonna want 40, right? Um, to be enriched into these guys, okay? And then turned into Flux Crystals, pretty straightforward. Yeah, I like that. I like it. Cool. So then we do this, and we do this, and then we do that. Cool. And that should take care of all the things that this does. And I should look at doing, like, further upgrades, right? And I'm sure I could come up with something to do by way of further upgrades. But, eh, you know. Let me get this last stack in here. Uh, I'm not going to do this stack because I said five stacks, right? So, like, let's get the last stack in here. Um, and then we should be cool, right? There we go. Looking good to me. So uh, with that taken care of, right, um, we can throw all this stuff in here. And sure, I could, I could, you know, pure fluix it, right? But that's like extra effort for something that's not super necessary. I mean, though, at the same time, right, I could throw like three stacks in here and easily double this up. That's a fair assessment. What's up with sand? Do I, how am I on sand? Like, we don't have a lot of sand here, and I don't know why. Because we're totally growing sand trees somewhere in this system, right? Like, I didn't forget to grow sand trees, did I? Sand resin. No, like, we 100% have sand resin and acorns going on here, right? And you, are you vacuuming sand up, right? So, like, sand has been going this whole time, but holy cow do we have not a lot of it. Like, I would have expected more sand. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm a derp. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing, right? But we've got a few pieces of sand, but we totally need more. So, um, you know, short of making more sand trees, like what's a way that I can ramp up my sand production? That um, is a really good question uh, that I'm gonna have to figure out. Let's see like what, what options for sand, right? So let me put this stuff away and look up how to make sand. Right, so there's 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 that mod, there's that, right? That's pretty straightforward. We can crush gravel in the crusher, right? Um, 
Is that about it? So we can throw we can throw cobble. Or material stonework factory, that's a thing, right? But I don't think we're quite there yet. And manufactory can do it too. So what I can do is crush gravel, right? And that should get me a healthy-ish amount of sand. I suspect. And I'm guessing cobble can be crushed into gravel, right? Cool. So does that mean this can be turned into gravel and that can be turned into sand? Because that would be fine if that's, you know, if that's the situation that we find ourselves in. I'm cool with that. Right? Is that right? Is that an accurate? Yeah, gravel. Perfect. Boom, boom. Do all the gravel things and then do all the sand things. Cool. And uh, just let's see if this is accurate. So that's two stacks of that. Yeah, it should be fine. And then enriching should grow them into full-size pure flux. So that's cool. All right, let me come back once I've processed all this stuff. All right, so all flux crystals taken care of. So that means I should very easily now, um, especially if we want to switch this for this. Uh, what? Does that? What? What? Since when? Okay, well, that's not a huge deal because I think I can do this and then do this to convert them back. Right? But that's weird. I'm going to say Darko, please, on that one. Uh, so I need 16Ks, right? So that's 4 3K, so that's 1 3K. 2, 3, 4. Uh, we're going to need some more of these. So silicon? Do we have silicon still? Can't wait to get auto crafting going, let me tell you. Which what, what was this again? Oh, that's right. Certus, Quartz. I'm going to do two stacks of you in the crusher here. One to have um, good to go, and the other to smelt into silicon, and we'll be back again once I get more crafting done. All right, so I'm just whipping up, you know, a few processors, which thanks to the advanced inscribers is really not that long. It's very quick, and it's nice. No tick acceleration, but, you know, eh, it's, it's something. Still pretty quick. I love the advanced inscribers. Like, this mod AE2 stuff makes AE super awesome right like 100 percent on board <laughs> with some of the the quality of life things that it brings to the table right um so with that we need the 4ks right and there's a reason i made a bunch of that stuff uh we're gonna need some more of this which hopefully we have some glass for right cool and then we can make the 16k which is cool and i actually did um like a derp miss math but that's okay um right we can do 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 and then also make another 4K storage box because we know uh, what's up. We know that we're gonna need one eventually anyway. Yeah, cool. So there's that guy, right? So that's gonna allow me to make uh, this thing, but I need an ME chest. So I need an ME terminal of some kind, which should be craftable. Um, I just need another one of these cool beans. Cool. So let's add the security terminal over here because clearly I'm a derp. All right, we already did that part. So now we need this. And then we need this. And remember, you need a security terminal on your network somewhere um, to just, you know, make sure you've got what you need to, to link your devices, right? So that should make me the super boss of the thing, right? Um, now, wireless terminals from Planet Logistics are in here. Wireless crafting terminal, the mod, I don't see, which uh, is okay because I think wireless universal terminal from Extra Cells 2 might be cool, but we'll at least get the wireless terminal. I'm guessing this thing uses a wireless terminal, wireless universal terminal. Um, oh, okay. Item, fluid, gas, and crafting. Okay, that's cool. So you make this, and then you make the specific terminal you need, and it gets you that that thing. So you combine it with a terminal or a gas terminal or a crafting terminal. Okay. So does that mean I combine a crafting terminal? Wireless. Terminal. Plus one of those things makes that okay cool so i still need one of these right so let's get oh i need crushed wood first 
Marcel. That's fun. So I'm going to need a little bit of crushed fluke stuff. So you know what? Let's get a stack of that and get him taken care of. And one of these days I'll remember that I installed an elevator over here, but like not today. Right? Don't expect that to happen in a day. It'll take me at least 10 episodes to remember that there's an elevator there, and then I'll get used to it, and then I'll move, and then I won't use it ever again. Like, that's that's pretty standard for a Darwell 20 series, right? Like, that's how things go. I forget about things, and then I remember them at the last minute. Um, so back down here, because I was already doing stuff. Oh yeah, you're going to fill up with power, aren't you? Because wireless charging. <laughs> that's fine. Put all you away. Cool. And then I can get this. Um, can I just use normal nether? Or does it have to be pure? I guess it does have to be pure. I'm going to do like half of these. Oh, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Not the enriching part. I thought it was enriching. Oh, right, I have to combine it with sand. Duh. Dire, please. Dire, please. Okay, so these guys should then combine. Cool. And then you can combine with an ME terminal. So we'll probably need another one of these guys, because I doubt that we've got what we need, right? So you plus an ME terminal, boop, right. Another one of these dudes, can't wait for auto crafting, but we wanna get this up and running first, right, to be fair. And then the last piece we need for this is a Fluix Pearl, which might not be too bad, we just need an Ender Pearl, which we have none of. We probably have one outside. If not, I have a watering can that might help. Yay, we have two outside at least. That's cool. Sometimes they give you two ender pearls on a drop, which is neat. World backup in progress. Right? So we need that with a wireless receiver, and then we should be cool to make this guy right. Right, Roni. Which will store its power uh, from the Fluix system, right? Now, I don't know why you keep going dark, but you probably need a dense doohickey. Would be my guess, right? Um, so now this goes into here to link that up. And now we just need a wireless, whatchamacallit, in range. Uh, so we need a wireless anchor point. So we're going to need another Fluix Pearl with another wireless anchor point with that. You need a little bit more of those, which needs more quartz being ground up. This is good enough. We can remove that from there. We can make this thing the thing. And now we're cooking. All right, beautiful. Now where this wants to sit is a really good question. Um, I kind of don't want him to be super intrusive, but you know. What happened? Did I break my pickaxe just now? No, his durability is fine. White plastic glow block. Oh, okay. Today I learned. Those things look difficult to uh, to deal with. Cool. So does that mean that this works? Hooray! Uh, now, how do I make him crafting, right? Because I'm not familiar with this mod. So this is Dyer once again learning a new mod, right? So if I want to upgrade him, ME terminal, ME gas terminal, that's, what, that's all it says I can combine these into, right? Um, but the wireless... Universal has many modes, many modes, charged in the mechanism energy cube or wirelessly like I already am. Ha <laughs> ha, take that Darko. Uh, but I'm guessing what I need is a crafting terminal to make, to give this crafting terminal capabilities. Does that seem reasonable? I'm assuming. Cool. So is that with that? Nope, not at all. Not at all correct. <laughs> not at all correct. Let me go learn how this mod works. 
So bummer, there may not be a wireless crafting terminal available. Uh, I might add that mod myself, because that's a mod that I enjoy having. So look guys, let's be fair. I, I managed to go 20 episodes before modifying this mod pack, which is which is more than normal. Which is more than normal. Um, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Nope. Tab. Cool. Key tab. List players? No. Toggle search box focus? That's fine. Tab. Okay, maybe not. Uh, controls, key, tab. Oh, right, you probably need to be linked, don't you? And then tab? Yay! Oh, that's comforting. Look, it's a bobble. Hooray! Hooray! I mean, did you guys really think I was gonna, like, not do that? Because I'm gonna do that. <laughs> that's that's the thing that was gonna happen. <laughs> I can't have not I can't not have a wireless crafting terminal. It's just it's just a thing that Dyer's used to. It's such a, it's such a it's such a nice thing to have, right? Now what kind of range do we have on this dude? Uh, that's cool. And then we could have a uh, wireless the infinite infinity booster card. Ooh, you need two quantum entangled singularities. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, what I'll probably do. What I'll probably do is increase the wireless booster range like this. So how do I get dusts? Mechanical squeezer? That's my only option for that ender dust. Fair enough though. Fair enough though. Um, I could do that and just get a few range upgrades in that thing so that it, it lasts around my base. And then eventually, further down the line in the future, what we'll do is the thing that'll they'll let us have infinite range. And uh, I did turn the config option on just to have like once you craft it, it's, it lasts forever. The old way is what it's called, right? So there's two ways that infinite, infinity booster card can, can work. It can either like basically be an, a form of energy that like gets consumed and you have to keep making more of them, or or it, you, you get one and it lasts forever. And so I turned on get one and last forever config. Like it was in, in Enigmatica 2, right? Because I like that config better. Having to, having to constantly Fill the energy like it makes sense from a balance perspective but also it's just a hassle right just a hassle can i upgrade you to like a better thing by the way while we're here wireless out of range right this is what we're trying to solve um can you upgrade to like you know a little something that's better do 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 boop one two boop yeah you can do it do the thing Mechanical squeezer. Look at you. Hooray! And then mechanically squeeze. Hooray! And that'll make life just a little bit easier for me. Sorry, Dokar. Still... Well, not really that sorry. Uh, Fluix. Yep, you're going to be a nuisance again, aren't you? Do that. And then do that. Okay. So that just converts them back to non-pure forms, right? Um, and that should be good. So that gets me wireless range upgrades times 20-ish. Yay. And they can go into this thing, which I forget how many they accept, but that looks good to me, right? Uh, range that, energy use that, cool. But I think I should also throw in there, by the way, though, right? So you've got, you know, no transfer limit. This guy probably has some form of transfer limit, right? Like, what's your what's your ability to transfer? It's probably not crazy, right? But what we should have is some kind of um, buffer of power. We'll see if we run into any power problems with this thing. Cool? Okay, so crafting terminal uh, becomes pattern terminal. Becomes good times being had by all. That goes there. That goes there. And then we want patterns, right? And we wouldn't mind having just a few of them, so that we can teach how to make patterns, right? So you are made with this. Ugh. Oh, you know what else? I need that other mod. I need that other mod that allows you to, to do that or I'll go insane. I'll be right back, adding that too. Okay, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, you need a view cell too. I wonder if you can copy view cells. Not that it matters. Uh, patterns, right? Um, oh, it's so much 
So I added uh, just enough Energistics is the name of the mod. I had to think about that really hard for like a minute. Um, that allows you to do this. Super duper use it. Uh, useful, useful thing. Uh, but I need quartz dust. Really, I don't have any? Where did all my quartz dust go? Did I use it again? No, you know what I did? Is I didn't, I didn't finish, I didn't collect it after I made it. That's what I did. That's what I did. Go direwolf, go. But yeah, just enough energistics will make uh, crafting patterns and all that stuff just a little bit more reasonable. Right, so there's your patterns. Uh, we're also going to want an interface. You need to know how to make these guys because that's important, right? Which means you need to know how to make these guys. Um, and you also need to know how to make these guys, among other things that we'll soon get into. Uh, and then a uh, molecular assembler. That's a thing we need to know how to make. Uh, so you need to know how to make that. Um, and how are we for more patterns? Probably harder to make than I would think at this point, but we'll get there. Cool. We'll just make a bunch for now, just to have so we can like preload all our stuff. Right, so that's cool. So there's your molecular assembler, but I need you to know how to make a crafting table for me, okay, buddy? And you probably therefore need to know how to make wood. Cool. Um, I would also probably want to decide how, like normally I do that upside down Christmas tree thing, right? That's how I usually do these. Um, the problem, or no, not the problem. The the thing that makes me not want to do it right now is that channels are not a thing that we care about. So efficiency of channels changes the name of how important it is that we do that. We could do like a checkerboard type thing. There's probably a lot we could do, right? Um, but let's make a molecular assembler real quick so that at least we can start molecularly assembling things, right? So let's do that and let's do one of these and let's do some of this some more and then you can do that and there's your molecular assembler and we've got our cables right so what if we just like and we started with like uh i don't even know like one of these with a molecular assembler right here right like i don't want to take up a huge amount of space here but i also kind of want this to work out pretty nicely Right, like we could do a few things, right? We could do like a wall of these, right? That's just like a flat wall. Because channels doesn't matter, right? So as long as you've got molecular assemblers or on interfaces, it should be cool, right? So we do all that and then you should be cool, right? The other thing we're gonna need is a 4K crafting unit, right? Or let's make it a, let's start with a 16K because that, that should be fine, right? So 16K should not be a problem for us, right? We should be able to do 12 turns into one, two, three. There goes all my glass. Four. Did I math it wrong again? Yeah, I guess it is only nine that we need. Right? Um, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make two more sets of these. Maybe not. Maybe not. Not with all those Flux crystals that I don't have. Um... Wow, did I really burn through all my fluids already? Wow. Wow. I am just I am just on a roll with fluids, let me tell you. So that's one stack, so we need eight. I think ten is what we would need for the actual crafting here. Oh look, I do have more. Haha, <laughs> go me. And that shouldn't take too long. Nice. And then I should be able to, yes, I can. Thank you. So while that's going, we want that, right? So that we can do that. And then we can upgrade you to two 16s, boom. And then you can combine with this times two to make two of these bad boys, which we'll want to separate. Can we make coprocessors real quick? Just just to make life a little bit easier. Eh, not so much. We'll hold off on that for now, right? But we'll get there, we'll get there, right? We're, we're just doing the foundational stuff today. Right, now we might have a few more of these 4Ks down here to be fair, no we don't, okay, so we're good. Right, right, right. Um, so with, with 16K storage 
processors sitting nice and purdy, right? What we could have is something like this, keeping them nice and separated, and then we should have two options to make patterns. So can you make patterns for me? You're probably gonna say that you're missing glass. Which makes perfect sense. Um, so remember when I duped some stuff earlier? That was a good time, wasn't it? I feel like now's a good time to use that. Thoughts? Concerns? Why is that a range? That can't be true. Oh, you know what? You're, you're filling these things. Now you're filling this with energy. Oh. Oh. Huh. Can I make you like a lower priority? Are you online again, wireless? Maybe you need to be priority negative 10. How does that sound? Nope, there is no negative number. Priority zero. What if we went down here and made this a higher priority? Ha! -ha! So the highest of priorities, 100. Priority one, keep this thing charged no matter what's going on. Got it, chief? Um, the fact that I'm draining this power so desperately badly is probably not the best thing in the world, but I mean, we'll be all right. It'll just recharge. This thing's doing a great job. It's doing amazing. And in fact, we could just throw these guys in there, right? I think everybody would be down with that. I don't know like what recharge rate we're looking at now with these things in here, but it's all good. So what I might wind up with, I mean, I'm probably just going to wind up dropping this dude down here anyway. Um, but I'm thinking on the front can be output and on the top can be input. So we're going to want a flux receiver. Flux point, yeah. You, 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 20k. Cool. So you're going to fill up your buffer, and that should be fine. And then, um, lead stone. Do we not have any lead stone? I would think that we do have lead stone. Maybe we don't. Right, we're a little bit low on quite a few things right now, but we're getting there. Next step will probably be ramping up production of resources. Right, so enriching factory sounds cool, right? I would probably like three of those. And then we want also, no, infusing. Infusing's the one that we want three of, right? Yeah. Right, and then uh, smelting factory, enriching factory. Did I dupe my crusher? Did I not dupe my crusher? I might not have duped my crusher. I should run a cycle and dupe my crusher. Or I could just make a crusher. Shouldn't be too bad, right? I didn't think so. Let's find out. Need a couple buckets of lava. Should be easy peasy. Yeah, he's doing just fine. He's doing a great job keeping up. And look, he's already he's already boosting his power. He's up to five mil. We're fine. We're fine. Right, and then we should be able to bump him up right away into a basic crushing factory. How great is that? Right, and eventually we'll have the three infusers, one for redstone, one for diamond, one for obsidian. Cool? And eventually we'll probably also ramp up this power production, but for now we should be fine, right? So there's your smelting factories. Let's make sure that these are all accepting from input on the top, output on the bottom, right? Um, input top, output bottom, right? And auto sort on. Cool. Auto sort on and also make sure eject on because we want that. Eject on, eject on. Nice. Auto sort on, eject on. Sweet. Cool. Um, so then we could make interfaces, right? So you go into that mode. So you're missing logic processors. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna want a few more of these. Um, and redstone. 
And silicon, maybe? If we don't have any, we might have some sitting in over here. Yeah, we actually do. Yeah, we actually are okay on silicon. Um, so you get to work making that. We'll make about a dozen of these, because that's what we have the resources for. And then we'll take care of the rest in a minute. So auto crafting looks like it's working, which is nice. Right? Put that away. Can I get six of you without a problem? Looks like it. Is it keep? Is that what I want? JI synchronized standard keep? It might be what I want. Cool. So then over here, how do I want to do this? You know what I want to do? I want the back to be import and the top to be output. Let's do that. Is that cool? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Cuz then I'm going to I'm going to actually power you guys out the bottom. Is what I'm going to do. Sorry, person who made this amazing building. I'm doing a very bad job of maintaining it. But I think you understand. I will be forgiven. I hope. One can only hope I will be forgiven. Cool. Alright, so then we can run our interfaces along the back here. Boom. Right? Now, you don't, I think, accept items. So hopefully you don't cause too much of a problem. But if you do, we can always do that. So he knows he's supposed to be feeding items into the enriching factory. Right? Um, and then we could have item ducks. Like that, right? Uh, and for now, we can run some cabling. Like that. Cool. So you all go online. And now, can I make a pattern that says sand equals glass and test this real quick? So we want this sand equals. Class. Boop, 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 boop. We pop this guy into our smelting factory. And then can I ask to craft glass? <gasps> it's working! And then does the item output thing work? Yay, it does! Yay, it does. Yeah. I would love it if uh if I had if I had faster item ducks, but I think that's something we can make eventually. All right, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. Further things to do, obviously. Plenty, plenty more to do. So future plans, right? More auto crafting, right? Next step, I'd like to ramp up my resource production. To do that, I want to move this whole setup into a compact machine, and I want to unlock some of these advanced soils, which increase the growth rate and drop rate of bonsai plants, right? So this is the most basic one, but they get like really doop 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 pretty good, right? The top tier, um, pretty expensive, but pretty good. I mean, I mean, growth rate a thousand percent, drop chance three hundred fifty percent. Like that's gonna be shenanigans really fast, which I like. I like. I love that. I love that soil thing. I love the mechanics in the games where you like ramp up, right? Like early game is slow. But then you ramp up and you ramp up and you ramp up. The solution is not like just start spamming bonsai plants. The solution is advance your tech, get access to better soils, and then they grow faster. Like, that's cool. I like that. I like it a lot. So that's going to be my long-term plan, right? And then once we have resource production going even better, uh, then we can get into the Android thing because I totally want to become an Android. Uh, among other things. So for now, that was my sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time with more fun. For now... Take it easy.